Modeling with Trigonometric Functions, A4. A person who was listening to a siren reported that the frequency of the sound fluctuated with time, measured in seconds. The minimum frequency that the person heard was 500 hertz and the maximum frequency was 1000 hertz. The maximum frequency occurred at t equals to 0 and t equals to 15. The person also reported that in 15 seconds she heard the maximum frequency six times, including the time at t equals to 0 and t equals to 15. What is the equation of the cosine function that describes the frequency of this siren? Okay, now let's try to understand the situation first. It says that the minimum frequency that a person heard is 500 and maximum is 1000. So let's draw our minimum and maximum levels. Let's say this is minimum, maximum and this is a minimum. Okay. And we want a cosine function. So okay, let's first draw a wave here. I've just drawn a wave, okay? We say, well, the minimum frequency that a person has 500, let's say this is 500 for us, and the maximum is 1000. The maximum frequency occurred at t equals to 0, so let's say this is our t equals to 0. So here we have t equals to 0, and t equals to 15, so also at t equals to 15. The person also reported that in 15 seconds, so that means total 15 seconds, she heard maximum maximum frequency six times. So when you hear six times the maximum and starting with maximum, how many waves are there? I've seen students making this mistake. They will figure out as six, right? But let's really check. Six times maximum occurs in 15 seconds. So maximum starting with maximum, right? t equals to 0 and 15 included. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, one more time. So I need to extend my wave and say, well, this is it. Okay, so I get maximum six times as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So up to here, this is t equals to 15, right? So that's 15. Can you tell me how many cycles are there in these 15 seconds? First cycle, starting from here, ends here. So you cycle number 1, and then number 2, and then number 3, and then number 4. And this is the completion of fifth cycle. Do you see that? So we have 5 cycles in 15 seconds. Do you understand? So we have five cycles, right, in 15 seconds. That means what is the time period for one cycle? So time period t is 15 divided by 5, which is equal to 3 seconds. That is kind of critical to understand here, right, because many times I've seen students making a mistake here. And as you know, time period helps to find the value of k, correct? And k is 360, we can use radians or degrees. If you are using degrees, it is 360 divided by time period. If you are doing radians, it is 2 pi divided by time period, okay? So let's use degrees for the time being. So in that case, this implies that k will be equal to 360 divided by 3, which is 120. So k is 120 for us, for this particular case. Now let's start all over again. So what we need to do is, we need to model this as a cosine function. So we can say, well, the frequency can be written as f of x equals to a times cos k, and let's say x is my variable, minus p, plus q. So that is the general equation for any sinusoidal function, right? Now here, how to find a, k, p, 
P and Q. We already found K from time period, right? Now to find A and Q, we need to know the maximum and minimum, right? So what is the maximum? Maximum frequency is, maximum is 1000. And minimum is 500, right? So what is the value of A? So A can be written as maximum plus minimum divided by 2, right? So A is equals to maximum is 1000 plus 500. Oh, sorry, this is not A. Average value is Q. Let me write, make it Q, okay? Q is the average value. Average value, the axis of symmetry is maximum plus minimum divided by 2. So we'll add them, divide by 2. And so we get 1500 divided by 2. That is the value of the K in this case. Correct? So, we have 1500 divided by 2 can be written as 750. Or oh, we'll use the calculator here. Okay. 1500 divided by 2 equals to 750. So, Q is 750 for us. Correct? Now, A is the amplitude. Amplitude is difference divided by 2. So, let's do that. So, we get A equals to 1000 minus 500 divided by 2 which is 500 divided by 2 and we get 250 so a is 250 for us now what is the phase shift since it is starting from a maximum phase shift is zero for us for the cosine function right for sine function we will have phase shift now we know a k and from we know q and a and from the frequency i mean uh, from the time period, we calculate the value of k as 360 divided by 3, so which is 120. So k is 120 for us. Therefore, we can write down this equation now. And what is p? p is 0 for us since it starts with maximum. Correct? Therefore, our function f of x is equals to 250 cos of k is 120 x plus q is 750. So that is the equation which represents this particular situation. Correct?